story to tell. The People's Liberation Army Air Force is estimated to possess 160 to 180 H-6 bombers, which are among the most advanced in the country. The Chinese Cyan H-6 is known to be a license-built version of the Soviet Tupolev Tu-16 twin-engine jet bomber. It was a product of close military and political ties with the Soviet Union since 1960s. It was this relationship that set the stage for the Chinese military to achieve the miraculous developments we witness today. Initial production version of the H-6 bomber were armed with a number of 23mm cannons for self-defense. There are two cannons in remote dorsal turret, two in remote ventral turret, and two cannons in main tail turret. Some aircraft carry one more 23mm cannon in the nose. Later production models have some or most of the cannons removed. Also on later models, crew was reduced from 6 to 4 men. This bomber is fitted with two Cyan WP turbojets. It is the engine of the Tupolev Tu-16 produced in China under license. This aircraft lacks sufficient range for truly strategic missions. With the increased development in ballistic missile technology, the nuclear strider of the H-6 diminished in importance. The H-6 has gone through a complex series of iterations and upgrades since entering Chinese service in the 1960s. New variants such as the H-6K and H-6N operated by the People's Liberation Army Air Force and the H-6J operated in the People's Liberation Army Navy Air Force are vastly more capable aircraft than the RTU-16. They also mark a major improvement over the previous generation of H-6 platforms such as the G, H, and M. Another upgraded variant, the HD-6, is understood to be a dedicated electronic warfare aircraft. In addition to heavy payloads of stand-off range weapons, the K, J, and N variants are powered by two Soloviev D-30 turbofans, which are far more efficient than the WP-8 turbojets that powered previous H-6. There is also speculation that the TAP has been fitted with the locally developed WS-18 turbofan, the engine that will eventually power the San Y-20 strategic transport. With much larger engine ELS to accommodate the upgraded power plant, the K, J, and N variants dispense with the original glass nose of the TU-16 and H-6, replacing it with a solid nose housing for a passive electronically scanned array or potentially an active electronically scanned array radar. It also has an electro-optical or infrared turret under the fuselage. The Tirgano station found on previous iterations makes way for a fully enclosed tail.
The latest variant, the H6N, was revealed during Beijing's massive military parade on October 1, 2019. In October 2019, China signaled the return of airborne leg of its nuclear jet after the People's Liberation Army Air Force publicly revealed the H6N as its first nuclear-capable air-to-air refillable bomber, says the U.S. Department of Defense report. In addition to the refueling probe, the H6N has a special concavity underneath its fuselage. The Pentagon says this can be used to carry an anti-ship ballistic missile or an unmanned vehicle. Strategic locations such as Taiwan, which Beijing claims as a breakaway province, plus Okinawa in Japan, South Korea, and the countries of Southeast Asia are all within each range of the H6 force. H6Ks have also practiced landings at military bases that China has developed from atolls in the South China Sea. My video about the China H6 bomber answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.